Hello everybody, Ginger Shadow here, and welcome back to Naruto Ultimate Mod Pack Survival Thingy with me, and only me, because I'm on my own today, but there's a bit of a twist today because I made a mistake. Uh, first, I don't know, there's a lot of firsts for the series lately, but this is the first big muck-up I've done. Um, I actually recorded an episode with Match, and we had Zaro and Hyro on as well for parts of the episode, because they had to leave early, and you know, that yeah, was all great and all. And then I looked at the footage, and my voice didn't record in any of it. So I basically got a load of footage of um, Mitch, Hyro, and Zaro all talking to themselves and each other. But a lot of talking to themselves, because every time they try to talk to me, it's just an awkward silence after it, and then them answering themselves. They sound a bit crazy, to be honest. But yeah, so since I have the footage, and I don't really want to throw it out, because I actually did quite a bit, because it was a full, like, it was... I think it was about 45 minutes worth of footage or something, and we did quite a lot in it, so I don't really want to just throw it out. So instead, I'll just tell you basically what happened, and just kind of show little clips to it, just of the important bits. So let's see. First of all, the most important thing that happened in that episode, Zaro decided to try his, fi oh, try his luck, and he started striking me with his Flim Flam weapon. Flim Flam, if you don't know, causes random effects on you. Like, not side effects as in, like, it gives you blindness and stuff. No. It can do things like make alarm bells go off around you. It can spawn monsters around you. It can screw up your inventory. It can disarm you. <laughs> it's an absolute pain in the ass. And I warned him. I said to him, if you do that again, I'm going to kill you and burn your weapon. So I chased him for a bit. And eventually I caught him. And eventually I killed him. And then I burned his weapon. God damn it, Zara. But you know what? I don't, I don't feel bad at all. He can get another weapon. He just knows in the future not to flim flam me. <laughs> or if he does, he better be prepared for a fight. That's all I'm saying. Because I gave fair warning. I didn't just brutalize, like, brutalize, murder him just for the sake of it. I had my reasons and he knew the reasons were there. He tempted fate when he hit me again. He knew I was going to chase him and try and kill him. He wanted this to happen. I imagine he didn't want to die. I imagine he wanted to get away. But you know what? That just didn't happen. Anyway, so other stuff that we did, um, I did start making preparations to summon the Earth Guardian, because that was the thing I wanted to do. I wanted to do that, la like, during the episode, but ended up, time ended up kept being a bit consuming, and it ended up not happening. Um, so, because I want to start making the Body Flicker technique. Now, just so you know, we can't use the Leap Ability, because that crashes, but I can possibly use Body Flicker, which is one of my favourite techniques. To get to that, I need Blink. So I need to unlock invisibility and random teleport first and blink itself. So I need two green orbs and a blue orb. The blue orb I might get when I level up again, which I could actually be working towards right now. As well as increasing my wind affinity. Um, oh yeah, I've also got a giant hole over here. I have no freaking clue who did this. But they will pay for it in blood. Jesus Christ, they've ruined my flatland. I don't know who did it. I suspect Demon Hyro maybe. I don't know. They're on the server the most. I, don't, I can't think of any reason why Hyro would do it. Demon is sort of evil, so he might have done it. I don't know. Or, I, I don't even know what could have spawned a giant hole like this. It just, it's just confusing to me. That's why I'm so confused on who it could have been. It was a tiny little hole, I think, right. Little creeper explosion. This is not a creeper explosion. This is a big hole. I don't understand. Anyway, um... Right, back to the bit of footage. Um, let's see. So there's the bit with Zaro. That was probably the worst... The big thing that happened that episode, I would definitely say. Um, oh yeah, right, so if any of you have watched Sizzle's side, they know that Sizzle actually left me notes, um, basically saying he'd like to join the village. So he's like, yo, 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 it's me, Sizzle. I was wondering if you guys had a room for one more. I'm lost. I need protection from the Minotaurs and the Giant Monkey. I'll behave myself if you guys accept me into your village. If you don't want me as, as a pair member of the village, I can just stay for as long as you're willing to let me stay at the end. And then he, he added an extra one. P.S. I'm living on one, I'm living in that one building near here with the rainbow colored wool in front of it. If your answer is no, that's cool. Um, so yeah, he left his loads and Sizzle is indeed staying. If you watch Sizzle's video, you already know where he's staying and the giant monkeys talking about stuff. He met one of the giant monkeys. Oh, it's water raining. I could have got a water guardian. <clears throat> But yeah, um, Sizzle's staying over here at the giant castle. Why am I not getting my weapons out? I run out quicker with these. So, in response to this, since Metro's here and he's my own boo, I sent him his first mission. Respond to Sizzle. 
I wanted to do something nice for Sizzle, so I actually was going to put my mailbox down and then leave my letter saying it. But if we put the mailbox down, then it claims as ours, so no one can get the mail from it. So I left no a box with a mailbox in it, along with a letter that's from Crazy Match. That has a book inside, signed by me, that was written by Match. Basically, we're just going to ask Sizzle, we're going to do a little kind of interview type thing, where we're just going to ask him, what do you bring to the table if you join our village? Let's hear what, he's, let's hear what his response is to that, let's hear what Sizzle's skills are, and we'll see what happens with that. Um, but Hyro in response has left a counter offer, trying to recruit Sizzle to his village, which, you know, is fair game, because it would be quite boring if everyone joined my village. Of course, I would love to have Sizzle in my village, because it's another person. And so far, I've technically only got um, Pat and Match, which makes three of us, which isn't a huge amount. So I could still, there's still plenty of room for more people in my village. It's just, you know, I, if it ends up just being like 10 people in my village, three people in High Rose, and Mike Guy by himself, that's not going to be very interesting when it comes to fighting because then I'm going to have the numbers and everything else. So, you know, I'd like it, I'd like a kind of even spread. So High Rose going for people, definitely kind of going to be interesting so we'll see how that ends up with from sizzle's side all right and the last thing me and mitch went and did we basically um we found this little fortress thing that was quite interesting i'd never been in one before but i have seen them before in previous games of like hexit and stuff um we went inside killed a few things and fought and killed a lich which didn't drop anything good but we did get a couple of nice pieces of a uh, materials out of it some gold diamonds and stuff Plenty of emeralds, and we also found a cool nether portal at the end of it, which was cool because we were looking for obsidian, and well, we needed obsidian so that we could summon earth garden because you need um, eight obsidian to summon him, plus a chiseled stone brick, four ventium torches, and the iron inlay, which I had to get Mitch to actually Google and check for me. I had to go and do an information check on what, like, how to summon him because I, I could not remember. So, anyway, so that means I've got everything I need to summon earth guardian, so I need to summon him. Problem being now, I don't actually think I can beat him by myself, because I don't have very powerful juices. Earth, my lightning still is my strongest one, and that does nothing against the Earth Guardian. Fire is the best way to fight him, and my two fire stylists are not on the server right now. Bit of an issue. So, there is that. Mm. But I might set up preparations to summon him, at least. I can at least make a setup for him, because if I set up for him, then at least we can summon him and fight him at our leisure. So, I'll quickly make the thing for him because I believe I've got everything here so we needed a obsidian one chiseled brick we need four ventium torches that's why I've got the video there and the inlay which is eight boom and for where it'll go well, I've got this plain open area I might as well put it over here it's going to clear a large amount of earth when I like summon them so I might as well put them near a large amount of earth that I would like cleared because that makes sense at least in my head. Yeah, I'll put him in here. This will do. It'll clear the earth around them when he gets summoned anyway. So, you know, whatever. I could put him in the planes, but I don't really want him in there. So, whatever. All right, we're going to put him here. All right, here we are. So, this should be the summoning thing. Then we just need to put four Vinium torches down, which I just created 16, so I didn't realize you made a load more. Oh, well. This should be the Earth Guardian's thing set up. So, hmm... I'm, t I'm, I'm tempted to try and fight him just to see how that goes, but I reckon he will wreck my face. Alright, but screw it. You know what? Try we'll try it. We'll try it. Let's do this. I'm gonna die. Alright, so for this, we need one Shimmerite, one Blue Topaz, and an Emerald, which I had in the other sack. Emerald got tons of emeralds. Jesus. Wait, can I... If I can get a quick level up for... Yeah, there you go. Level 9. I'll increase my power of my lightning a little bit more. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So, Shiberite, Lutopaz, Emerald. Oh, God. Ow. Right, that did no damage. Crap, it so did that. Um, lightning. That does no damage. This does no damage to him. Oh, crap. I've, I've, okay, I made a mistake. I've made, I've made a terrible, terrible mistake. I have no way of fighting this guy. <laughs> Alright, my best best to get him in the war. I need to create a wind still technique. Oh crap. Get in the water. Get in the water. Okay, now you stay in the water. Oh. 
Yeah, that does no damage. Okay, I need to go correctly. I need to run away. I need to create wind still. Because that's my only chance against this guy. And I also need to now hope that he does not pursue me over here. Shit. No. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Stay away. It sounds like he's rubbing against the earth. I can honestly hear the sound of like cobblestone screeching against cobblestone. What the hell? He's gonna kill me. Alright then, right, new game. So now we're going to try and create a jutsu without him killing us. I also come to realize that I just seriously need a sorting system in this place because my freaking god. Alright, so for this situation, there is really only one thing I can do. And that is create the Rasengan, which it's gonna be a very weak version of how it used to be though. There we are, we've got the Rasengan. Very weak version of how it was in the previous one, but you know what, whatever. As long as it does damage against this thing, I don't care. Right, okay, so we need, what do we need? Blank Rune, Vitium Dust Vela, Raw Fish, that could be a problem. Clay, Purple Rune, Lapis Relay, Book, Stone Sword, Yellow Rune, Pestin, and a White Rune. Jesus Christ, okay. Slight issue. I don't know if we've got any fish. If we have a cooked fish, not what I need. I need a raw fish. Oh, crap. A puffer fish? Come on. Have a random raw fish here, please. Random raw fish. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I believe I now have everything I need to make this jutsu. Everything but my freedom. I still don't have my freedom. My freedom is being blocked. So, oh god, right. How to do this. I mean, at this point, I could just pick him off. No, I can't. I did his core. Alright, time to run. Run, 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 run. Okay, follow me, dude. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Come on. I'm going to lead him across to Mitch's place. And... Then from Mitch's place, I will then rush back. And I will make the jutsu, then come back and finish him. That is the plan. Because it's the only plan I have right now. Let's not throw rocks at me, dude. Let's not throw rocks at me, please. Boop, boop. Come on over, dude. Come on. That's right. Come on over. Alright, he's doing that, so I'm going to make a run for it now. <laughs> yep, just keep running. Alright, so he'll probably make his way over here very slowly. But when he does, hopefully I'll be ready. Alright, let's get this started quickly before he realizes what's up. I need to also keep an eye on him though, because if he comes storming in here, it could cause issues. Alright, quick, 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 quick. Raw fish, raw fish. Clay. Got clay. Purple red, he's getting close. Shit. I think he's lost, I think he's lost my trail. If the, it has, that is the best news possible right now, because I'm very much not wanting to fight him. Uh, and the last thing. Oh, it's time. Now what symbol to give it? Oh, yes. These little ones worked well last time. So here we are, little Rasengan. God, it's got a combination of everything. No, it doesn't matter. Right, okay. Dude, I think I can take you this time. Oh, crap, okay. Rasengan! I did way more damage than the last time. Rasengan! How much does this cost? Quite a lot, I might add. Okay. Rasengan! <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, God. Ow. No, no. Oh, God. No. Rasengan. Don't have the chakra. Oh, I just I just love the fact I can leap, though. That's, that's one advantage I do have. 
I really think maybe I should make the robes so I can just so I could get like a bit more of a power boost against this guy. Because you regen your chakra quicker when you're wearing the robes rather than like diamond armor. And although I don't think it provides just as good protection, but it is still pretty tough. Oh, no, please don't strike me. All right, it costs 211 normal. After it's been used once, it jumps up to 410 use. Rasengan! gun. Okay, it's just going to be Rasengan gunning a stone boulder until it dies. That That is the plan here right now. Rasengan! So many Rasengans. Nope. Ow. Okay, yes, maybe then. Out the water, out the water. Leap! No, 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 not in the stone. That's his element. I want to give this guy an advantage. Oh, crap. Rasengan! Oh, that worked. Okay, he's got 55 health. I can take this guy. I just need to be really careful. That's why I love this leap ability at this point. Leap ability is now my friend. Oh, crap. God, if I, if I just switched to my blades, this would be so much easier. Why are you so quick? Stop following me. You savage son of a gun. Sing gun. How much? 44. I can do this. It just takes a really long time to grind the boulder down with wind. Or chakra. Because technically the Rasengan gun is just spiraling chakra. It's not actually a wind still. Rasengan. gun. No. No. There we go. No, it's the wind cell resin shuriken. That added extra bit of wind cell means it is applying wind nature chakra to it. So, yeah, that's... I, I see that argument happening inside the chat quite a lot where people are wondering, or they're saying that uh, uh, you should use Rasengan for wind cell or something. Now, technically, everyone can use it. Just, it's... I don't know. <laughs> just it's normal chakra move. It's just it's resin shuriken as a wind cell. Rasengan. God damn it. Yeah, I just realized something. Ow. Okay, dude, if you could stop that, that'd be great. Um, can I try... You guys handle them. Okay, they all died. <laughs> Rasengan! Oh, yeah. Go, my clones! Go, my clones! Rasengan! I don't have enough chakra. Oh crap. Clone! Clone, do your job. Okay, they both died very quickly. God damn it. Alright, last Rasen gun. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yes! Ah, it took his sweet time. And there's my reward, the infinity orb. Not the one I need. I need a green one, which means I'll probably need to go and get... Um... I'll need to go probably fight against the Air Guardian or something to get that. Or the Arcane or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure that one out in a future day. But yeah, at least I managed to kill that bastard now, which is always good. Um, so yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to unlock... No, I need, I need a green one to unlock the next one. That's just the thing. But, you know, whatever, it's fine. At least I killed that guy. It just took a while and required me to make a whole new Jutsu. Oh yeah, guys, just while I remember, um, the question of the day, which I kind of forgot about until now. Um, so last time I asked the question, when if you could use any technique in Naruto, which one would you use? And I'd say quite a few people picked dojutsus, the different eye techniques, like Sharingan, Rengan, Byakugan, things along those lines. Some people said sexy jutsu for whatever reasons. Um, <laughs> um, Shadow clones were not popular one, Rasengan, Shidori, um, Sage mode, different things like that. Which, you know, is fine. I saw some arguments going on about what, if Dojutsu's counted as techniques. Some of them saying, oh, there's blood, there are bloodline abilities. Well, technically, if you can use the technique, I mean, if, you, if I ask that question and they say that they want to be able to use a technique that's a bloodline ability, that basically means they want to be that bloodline. Which is, you know, it doesn't really matter because the question directly is what technique you want to use. It doesn't matter the, the, the consequences around it. Dojutsus, I suppose, count as techniques. I have no freaking... I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a Wikipedia. I can't tell you if it's a technique and technical term, but whatever. I'm accepting everyone's answers as they are. As for me, I would like to use Shadow Clones, simply because it would make life a hell of a lot easier if there were 10 of me. 
All right, now, as for the new question today, now, I'm actually asking this one just because I've heard um, some of the group that I'm with, um, like all the different people on the Nerdstar, I've heard people actually have an argument over this one before on who is the, or who is your favourite female character, because half the people in the anime squad and in the Naruto server, they have got different answers for this. A lot of people like different girls from Naruto, which I didn't really realise. So... Let's see in the comment section, who's your favourite female character from Naruto? And I'll tell you my answer next time. Hopefully I'll have a few other people on next time, like last time, because um, if I have a few other people on, now you can hear all their answers. It's quite interesting hearing how they, like, who everyone likes. It's, it's quite funny. Okay, now I know I'm supposed to be starting my house at some point, and I still plan to do that, but I probably will start doing my house during a live stream, now that I know I'm able to live stream. Um... I don't know about doing live streams on YouTube more or whether on um, Twitch because it's kind of a split. Some people liked YouTube, some people didn't. But also YouTube seemed to have some problems. I might try YouTube a few more times just to see if I can get the if I can get it to work. Because last time apparently some people couldn't find the stream, some people couldn't get on the stream, which is quite a pain when you want to be able to stream and let everyone see. So I don't know, if it, kept, if it keeps doing that in the future, then I probably won't use YouTube, but I'll give it another few tries, just in case it's like a one-off glitch. So, next time I stream, I'll probably use YouTube. So, you'll see the video on there, and you'll see that I'm live now. I don't know when it'll be, but it'll be whenever, I don't know. I just know that'll be when I start my house and start the main construction for the village, because then you guys can also give me your ideas while I'm doing it. The, I don't know, I'll just do other bits and pieces and videos, and... Obviously, if I've started, like, working on a house or something and internal decorating stuff I might do during videos or I might finish off some builds and stuff, but I don't intend to do huge amounts of building in episodes because they are very time-consuming. Also, yeah, what does everyone think of my berry bushes? <laughs> some people say I have a problem. I tell them that we need more berries. It's just how life works now in this village. Oh, yeah, so now just speaking of berries, I just remembered something. Also, I've just made more stone crap. Um, right, I need. I went into the Nether with Mitch yet last time and got Nether Rack. Now, where the hell is that weird berry bush and the upside down tree? There's the upside down tree. Because I'm pretty sure if we can plant that and try that. I want to try it because I think that'll look quite cool. And you know, I'm gonna put the upside down tree inside uh, Mitch's place because Mitch's place has got a big roof. I'm sure he won't appreciate it one bit, but you know what, I'll, I'll help him get rid of it if that's the case. <laughs> It'll be quite funny to see his reaction. Strong possibilities, but there, I, I doubt someone would steal that berry bush. Like, no one seems to really know what they are. I can't, most people, if they see something they don't understand or don't know, they don't take it unless it looks really cool. It's a berry bush, it doesn't look cool. So I couldn't, I couldn't be able to understand if someone did take it. Oh yeah, and yeah, stealing is a thing on the server. <laughs> from what I've seen so far, as long as you don't get caught doing it. And obviously, don't be a jerk about it, because I think it's the same. It's basically the same rules as last time. Like taking the piece, the, the item here and there, no one really bothers about. But if you're going to steal everything in everyone's chest, and that's going to really piss people off, and you'll be headhunted. So you know, I expect someone to probably do that at some point, and at which point I'll need to hunt them down and murder them. I just hope it's not soon, because we're still getting set up. So I'm assuming people aren't going to do any weird stuff until we do get set up. And I can, for the love of me, I cannot find this berry bush. Maybe Mitch took it. I need to go check Mitch's place because Mitch took a load of things over to his place. So there's a possibility he might have picked up that berry bush just as like part of a rapid clicking process. But I'm pretty sure that he only took things from his old house. I don't think he took anything from these chests. Hold on, wait, I've got weather meat there. I don't know why I've got weather meat there, but I've got weather meat there. Do I have? Let's get that in there. <clears throat> no, I don't see it anywhere. God, all I want to do is... Alright, whatever. I can put the upside down tree in Mitch's place while I check his chest to see if he's got the sky berry bushes. Yeah, but so for those of you who don't know, Mitch has started building his place over here, which... He says he's still working on it, so we'll see how it ends up. I'm not going to say anything about it yet. But so far, the interior looks pretty nice from what I've seen. Um, can I... He's removed the door. Okay, whatever. Um, so ignoring that bit there, because that's other things he's working on. Is there a skyberry bush in amongst all this stuff? There could be, because I really can't tell. There's so much stuff. Jesus Christ, Mitch. That is... A, oh, it's a slimy stuff. I just saw a tree that I'm like, what the hell is that? 
All right, whatever. All right, let's just try planting this this tree down. So if I damn it, there we go. Got it. Now. Where'd the, where'd the sapling go? There it is. Right, leap. <gasps> it works! Oh my god, thank you people of the comment section who told me you need to plant all in netherrack. Thank you to you all. Also radio. No, turn it off. Turn it off. That's a turn off. GG. Alright, well I think I'll just leave this here for match. And, you know, I'm sure, I'm, I'm not going to tell him about it, I'm going to wait and see if he notices it, because I assume he will, but there's a chance he won't, so. I don't know, it could be funny if he comes in one day and there's just a giant tree sitting in his um, front room. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what happens. How the hell do I get out of here again? But yeah, it seems like my, um, my skyberry bushes have disappeared. So, there may be a thief among us that or I'm blind. I mean, I could be blind. But I don't know. We shall see. Let us loop over. I'm going to have one quick more check around the berry bushes just to see. Oh, wait. Maybe I should check Ruby House. I haven't been to Ruby House in a while. Let's head to Ruby House quick. I still get marked as home for some reason. I should really take my trophies with me too. Um, if any chance to leave it in here. Nope. Not in here. God damn it. Alright. Well, in that case, I'm either blind or someone's nicked it. I don't know, either or, but it doesn't matter. It's just, it's just one of those things. I'm gonna have a quick once over on these things again, just in case I am actually blind though. Nope, looked around, don't see them anywhere. So that's just a thing. Whatever. Oh yeah, my dust. I made that last episode, or not last episode. The episode that never happened. The episode where Mitch and everyone's here, but he can't hear me. <clears throat> but yeah, so I think there's only one more thing I really need. I just remember one more chest I haven't checked. Luggage! You have my berry bush. You have a blueberry bush. You do not have the other one. God damn it, luggage. I blame you. But yeah, I need to name luggage. Because that was something I was meant to do and just completely forgot about. Alright, now. <clears throat> I saw a few different names for luggage. And after looking at them all. If anyone remembers my old call of Jeffrey. <laughs> um, since Arn's Magicka isn't in this, I think I'm going to call him Jeffrey. Just in this case, it seems like a good name. It will remind me of, um, well, the golem that went missing and died. It most probably died. I, I can't remember. I believe someone had a transformation for the golem. I can't remember who it was, but someone did. But yeah, so now we've got our luggage, Jeffrey. And now I just need to supercharge him, which everyone's been saying I need to get a random lightning strike to do, which I know how I'm going to do that. Don't worry. I will do that in a future episode, but I think for now... I will call it an episode, because next time, let's see, we've got a few things. Do I need to go get another skyberry bush from the nether? I need to supercharge Jeffrey. Uh, I need to start working on how to summon the other guardian so I can get unlock blanks. So I can unlock the body flicker techniques. So now that we've got Rasengan, gun, that's pretty good. So that'll get me back to some of the old jutsus I used to have that are my favourites. Um, I think there's some other stuff. I know I need to live stream making my house and stuff, but that's a different situation altogether. I'm sure there's something... Oh, yeah. Wait for Sizzle's response. That's our thing. Need to wait for Sizzle's response. <laughs> so that'll be good. Alright then, guys. Well, considering there's now stone brick in front of this, I kind of need to sit like this now. Which I'm not totally against. Because <laughs> it lets you all look at my fancy demon eyes. Anyway, guys, then. Thank you all very much for watching. Remember, just a quick reminder. Question of the day is, who's your favourite female Naruto? Let's hear that in the comment section down below. And once again, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.